Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Maddie and today's video is going to be a big box plant tour. So going to like Lowe's and Home Depot and I am just outside of Denver, Colorado. I think I'm technically in Arvada. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to be showing you what kind of plants they have here. I am from Bozeman, Montana. I'm just here visiting family for the Christmas and so I'm curious to see what kind of different plants and what kind of different prices they have compared to what I normally see. And so let's go see what it looks like. So the garden center is actually in a little like greenhouse thing that's attached to the Lowe's and I haven't seen that before in Montana because it's so cold but I guess it stays warm enough here in Colorado. Um, so here we'll start with all of the anthuriums. They all come in these little pots and they're $11. Oh this one says $5. This one says $5 but this one says $11. So that's super cute. We have some small Norfolk pines. Down here we have some peperomia. Um, this sago palm is really pretty. I don't know how much it is, but it comes with this pot, I'm assuming. Also some fiddle leaves and this money tree. We've got a nice size variegated schlaflera. Oh, and some super sad peace lilies. All these poor things. Um, some nice lucky bamboo dracaenas. This is a really healthy looking Diffenbachia for $8. Down here we have some more Dracaena, a Fetonia, a nice already trailing Pothos, Golden Pothos for also $8. Awesome. Those are really cute pots. <laughs> and then behind me we have Raven's Easies. I've never seen these in person. They're not too happy looking though, unfortunately. I don't know how expensive they are, but they come in these pots, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. These are not healthy looking. These are not happy ZZs. Um, but then up here, you can buy single stalks of bamboo for $3, which is kind of cool. And then over here, we have some more not super happy looking plants. Down here, they all look pretty good. We have some syngonium. It's the nice, like, pinky, reddish colored ones. Some Fetonia, another different Bacchia. Some more of that same stuff. Some really pretty pink Aglianemas for 14 in a pot. A nice crispy, um, I think it was a creeping fig or creeping ficus, which I've also killed two of, so no, no harm done there. I don't judge them. A nice Fetonia that's actually in bloom for eleven dollars and then back here is this things these hanging baskets which i'm super interested in look at how cool those are dogtail cactus for sixteen dollars and the baskets are really healthy and full looking and then we have some bromeliads in these cool pots more different bakia down there and bromeliads let's see what we have over here more bromeliads and some snake plants. Oh, look at the size of these leaves on this golden pothos. I have big hands for reference. It's trailing really nicely too. Let's see how much this is. Only 16, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. I think I found the clearance corner because there's a lot of crispy dead things, but these sago palms are $5. And I've always kind of wanted a sago palm. So well, this one doesn't even have a price on it. But that's kind of cool. Also some just sad looking plants. These cordyline are also looking quite sad. Let's go this way. Just some happy. Oh, we'll start over here. We have some larger sago palms down here for 30. And then some mid-sized ones over there for 12. More anthurium. We have some nice looking angel wing begonias. This is really pretty from the, I think the Trending Tropicals collection. I'm not sure how much they are though. I can't find a price. Let's see. Okay, I don't know how much they are. And then also a plain ZZ plant. That one looks a lot healthier than the ravens did earlier. We'll keep going. Let's 
some money trees and the little cute like bonsai type thing. That's cute for 25. And then we have some Triscantia nenuk, which I've never seen in Montana. And that's a pretty good size and it's in this nice pot. How much are you? Okay. They are 20. The price is on the bottom. But that one's, it's actually kind of cool that this one has a totally unvarigated stem. I actually love the look of unvarigated stems in the same pot with variegation. That's really cool. Look at how big this leaf is that one of them lost. So purple. I guess I'll just leave that there. Then up here we have more peace lilies that are all looking quite sad. And some Dracaena down here. There's so many bromeliads. I've never seen this many bromeliads. But these pots are really pretty. Freaking painted aloes, which are so sad to see. And then we also have some really pretty orchids. Orchids are intimidating to me. Um, this, they're only $12 though, so that's really pretty and they're all in bloom. Then we have these nice succulents that come in extra, they already come with cute planters. So we've got some bear paw, echeverias, some aloe. And then down here, some without pots. And these are $5 each. They look pretty decent. Oh, in this one, we've got a variegated jade in this little thing. That's, that's a cute little pot. How much are you? I don't know how much it is, but that's pretty cute. More succulents. Pretty cute looking. Those coral cactuses are cool. I'm pretty sure these rocks are, yep, glued down. Oh, I'm not even showing you. Glued down rocks. And then all these succulent assortments, which I think are cool, but also every time I've gotten a succulent assortment, one of them or two of them die because they don't like the same care. So that's kind of annoying. Some super sad pothos. <laughs> oh, this, I don't know if this is just a curly poinsettia or if it looks sad and is dying. More orchids, and these ones are 20 because they're in bigger pots. And then some cute little plants. I love these planters for these jade. That's really cool, they're 15 each. And then here we get into the bigger plants. So we've got some ferns, some bird of paradise on the ground for $13. And that's about three feet tall, that bird of paradise. We'll go this way. See some Diffenbachia in here. Um, some black coral snake plant for 17 right here. That's a pretty good price for how big that is. That's awesome. And then we've got some Diffenbachia. Is this the camouflage variety? I'm not sure, but look at how big this leaf is. And it's putting out a new one. And so is this one over here. So these big pots, that's probably a 10 inch pot, are 17. So those are some pretty big plants, big, big leaves. We've got some fiddle leaves. These might be the compact version. I'm not sure. They don't look too happy. And these are 20 each. Um, another Diffenbachia. Some Dracaena marginata, I think. And this is 13. And that's in like an eight inch pot, maybe. Probably about two and a half, three feet tall. And then we've got some Cordyline. I think that's what these are called. Let's see. Yeah, Cordyline for 13 really pretty i love the color of those and then we've got some massive peace lilies this is the biggest peace lily leaf i have ever seen in my life that thing looks like it should have fenestrations oh my gosh there's also a bunch of dead leaves down here at the bottom but let's see if i can find the price 23 dollars so this big peace lily would be 23 so I'm assuming all of these are as well. We have some more black coral Sansevieria, some crotons, and then some Nanthabella palms, I think. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, Majesty palms. And these are all $13. So you can get a nice big plant for only $13, which is super cool. And more big pea sillies and more bird of paradise. These are the white bird of paradise. And I think these are the ones that are easier to get to flower in your home. I'm not sure. And they are 25. More palms, more majesty palms. 
very large. And then there's some really tall, probably six, seven feet, eight feet tall majesty palms. They are $20 for a palm that starts down here at the ground and goes all the way up. And I'm a tall gal and that's way taller than me. <laughs> that's so cool. And then behind me again, more pothos, diffenbachia, angel wing begonias. I want to know what price these are. Right there. $20 from the trending tropicals. I think all the trending tropicals are probably $20. We never get these coming to us in Bozeman. So it's kind of cool to see them here. More sagos. And let's see if there's anything more back over here. Sorry about that glare. And that shake. My camera's been shaking weird. I don't know why. And then I think back here is just a bunch of pots and more of the palms. So that's everything here at the Lowe's. I found one more section, which is the urban jungle section. And we have some Peperomia obtusifolia, I think. Does it say? It does not say. <laughs> okay. And these cute little pots for 13. I think these are the Neanthabella palms but it probably won't say again. Yeah, Neanthabella palms for 13. Some Jade Pothos, Sansevieria cylindrica that have been braided. And then down here we've got some burgundy rubber trees, bird's nest fern, bird's nest sake plant. And I think everything is the same on that other side. So this is what the Home Depot plant section looks like. To start off, we have a peace lily in about a 12 inch pot maybe for $30. It's really healthy looking compared to the ones that were over at Lowe's. And then right here we have, I don't even know what this might be. It looks familiar, but I don't have the name off the top of my head. And then we actually have some Fatsia hoponicas, which if you've watched any of my plant videos, you know mine hates me and it's dropped all of its leaves except for like four at the bottom and they are $20 in these 12 inch pots and they look really healthy um, as far as I'm aware <laughs> and then there's a little guy back here for nine dollars that also looks healthy it has these new leaves some palms a snake plant with five different plants in it for $20 which is cool um, this is a pretty sun bleached looking um, golden pothos but it's got a lot of golden variegation it's also really heavy so I'm wondering if they just watered it and it is $13 then we have some more green ones in here also I'm assuming 13 this is a really good size leaf right there we've got some little trees we have some really beautiful rex begonia right here looks very escargot-esque and these are six dollars in like four inch pots and some of them are blooming. Some nice sized orchids that are $13. Those are pretty. Then we have some cyclamens that are in bloom. I really like the color and shape of these leaves. The one I have at home is very similar to this, except I'm trying to bring it out of dormancy and I think I'm failing. <laughs> But these are really pretty in bloom and they are six dollars for a four inch pot i think this might be a bigger pot nope still six dollars we have some calicoe in bloom for six aluminum plant for six as well i'm guessing all the four inch pots are six and then over here we have some anthuriums for nine then we have calathea medallion uh, Rosio Picto, I think. I don't remember how you say these. And they are 13 each. They look really healthy though. I'm shocked at how healthy they look. Um, these ones really have their rosiness and these ones over here are kind of getting it back or have just lost it. I have, is that Desert Rose maybe? I can't tell. Over there, those trees and that flower that is blowing out the camera. Then we have some burgundy rubber trees for nine dollars that look really healthy this is a plant that i've wanted for a while so i might pick one of these up honestly and then we have some 
anthuriums that are way bigger. I've never seen these ones get this big at the like Home Depot. Like look at how big this leaf is. It's looking like a true anthurium. <laughs> and they're all red. And this really big one is $28. And then above me up here, we have some hanging baskets of golden pothos that are all 13. And then back there we have some Monstera ansoni for ansonii for 29 in those hanging baskets. So let's see, I don't know if that's a good deal or not. I don't really care for Monstera ansonii. There's one of the big baskets right there. I don't know if they look healthy or not because again, I don't really know much about Monstera ansonii. But cool, I've never seen one of those in a Home Depot or a Lowe's. I've actually, I don't know if I've ever seen one in person ever. So there you go. And then back behind me from where I was standing, we have some more snake plants. And then we have some philodendron cellulum, or this has been reclassified to thematophyllum bipinatophytum, I think. And this large pot is $20. So it's like an eight inch pot. It's very short, but very full. And then we have some more kind of sun bleached golden pothos. Then we have some aglianemas and four inch pots for $6. And then this is a Diffenbachia for nine. And then we have some marble queen pothos, which are 13. Very pretty. I love seeing the plain leaves in the baskets with the marbled ones. Oh, and then we have some really small Monstera and Sonia's for $9. So this is in a maybe six inch pot. That's a really good deal. And they look fairly healthy. I think these plants honestly look just unhealthy in general. And then back here, oh my gosh, there's Raphidophora tetrasperma. Oh, I'm excited. I've never seen that before at a box store like this. That's so cool. I'm going to check out those prices. We have some spider plant, and then um, I think this is a type of bird's nest fern because it kind of looks like a nest down in there with all those fiddleheads that are unrolling. That's kind of what the new um, fern, uh, new fronds are called. And then these are, I'm pretty sure, are they asparagus fern? Yeah, it's a plumosa fern or asparagus fern for five. And then we have some pothos, either enjoy, mandula, or pearls and jade. So this says pearls and jade for six. They all look really healthy too. Some peperomia. Tiny little bromeliad. We have some golden pothos on some totems that they're trying to get started. Super cute. And then we have some syngonium. Also $6. So this is syngonium white butterfly in a four and a half inch pot. Very cute. Look at this tiny sago palm. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And this is 15. Okay, now let's look at these raffidophoras. This one has new growth coming off of it and it's $13. Okay, I think this one's coming home with me. Yeah. Or this one back here. Nope, not that one. And this one also has some new growth coming off of it, but it also looks like it might've been overwatered. They're all pretty heavy feeling, honestly. But that's super cool. Only $13. I'm definitely gonna end up getting one of those. That's been a wish list plant for my. And then so we have some more pink aglianema, some snake plants, some dracaena. We have some hanging baskets of Tradescantia for 13. They're all really heavy. They must have watered today. And we have this very sparse Diffenbachia. <laughs> it's got a new leaf coming out. And then more of these philodendron. You might hear them called philodendron celloum or philodendron hope, philodendron little hope, or thematophyllum bipinatophytum. So many names for this one plant. Then I don't know what this is. It looks like it might put out fruit. Let's see what it says. Schifflera amante for 30. It's a pretty big plant. And then over behind me from where I was is all of their calanchoes which are all in bloom. So that's really pretty. And they are not telling me how much they are. On 
unless I didn't see the price. No. I don't know how much they are. But there's some in bigger pots and then there's some in small pots. Then at the end we have some variegated false holly. I don't know what this is. And then a cypress tree. That wraps up today's video. I totally forgot to film an outro when I got into my car after uh, going through Home Depot. But I wanted to show you what plants I ended up getting and I actually ended up only getting one. I was thinking about those burgundy trees, the burgundy rubber trees, but I'm going to wait on that. But I ended up getting this Raphidophora tetrasperma. I have wanted one of these since I first saw them and since I know that they're being made with tissue culture, I knew that the price was going to drop so that's why I waited. I'm not sure. I'm just going to assume that this was tissue culture, um, but I'm okay with that. Whatever. It's fine with me. I'm super excited about it. It has these new leaves at the top and also a new leaf coming out. So I'm happy with that. But that wraps up today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed, please give it a like and let me know what plants you might have purchased if you were on the trip with me. And I will catch you in the next plant video, which I upload usually on Sundays or Mondays. Bye. Mm -hmm.